Alrighty, so our next game is up against the English. We're playing with the French once again. I like playing the French. They feel nice. I think this map is called Hill and Dale or something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure. You can actually manually walk back. It'll be fine. Alrighty, so we'll start off with a second H as quickly as we can. So we'll do 8 on food, then 5 on gold, and then we'll go from there. I need 400 food and 200 gold as quickly as possible. There's a nice little bit of gold over there. I guess I'll go for that one. Next worker is going to make a house. And then we're going to go into the gold production. There's a boar over here, and a wolf. Is this the area in the center of the map? Is that what? Yeah, yeah, I think that's this map. Okay. Gonna put five on gold now, and then we'll go from there. I haven't really found a whole lot of sheep as a follow-up, sadly. It's a bit annoying. Um, there are some deer over there, which is good. I mean, usually in this matchup, the French are more aggressive than the English. English can be quite aggressive too, but since my uh, my cavalry can usually take map control, I should be able to grab some of these deer, although there are still some deer over here. Okay. Should be okay. Oh. Oh. All right, all right. I was going to say, I'm not finding any sheep, but... That's pretty good. Otherwise, I was going to have to look for a new source pretty early on. Excuse me, sir. Please get out of my area. This is my private space. So I'm not really going to scout out my opponent because I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> so, you know. French dot dot dot. Monday is patch. Alright, my opponent is already angry. Monday is the patch where they're nerfing the Mongols, guys. French dot 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 indeed. <laughs> Alright. He's already angry. That's a good start. That's when you know that's when you know things are uh are off to a great beginning. Yeah, there's some uh, very large hills over here. I have played a game on this map before. And it's actually quite difficult to attack on this one, so I don't think it's a bad idea to maybe think about going for a pretty quick next age. Okay. Or, sorry, a uh, very quick... Yeah, second TC. What did I say? Second H? Not what I meant. Okay. So now we're gonna do some scouting. You can, by the way, always click on this little flag over here and see what your opponent is playing. If you recognize the flag. Or, like, the, the shield in the top right. I've actually got it hidden with my sellout bar, I just realized. Or, I mean, my subscriber goal bar. <clears throat> you can always look it up, even if you miss it in the, the loading screen, is what I'm getting at. Okay. Oh, actually, I have a nice hill, but... This is in a different location. Yeah, I don't know where that worker is headed to, but we're at the second H. I would like to get those upgrades, but I need a lot more gold for that. Okay. Um, I'll start gathering some stone as well. He's not gathering any stone yet himself, but... Okay. 
I don't know where that worker was going. Oh, he's already started up a wall. Okay, so if he starts up a wall here, then he's definitely going to be playing pretty passively. I don't think I want to make necessarily too many knights, but I want to make at least a couple. Okay. Don't really want to fight those units head on. Getting my second knight out right now as well. Yeah, it's dangerous. Those longbowmen have uh, a lot of ranged. They have long bows. Is what I'm getting at. Uh, let's get that upgrade. I would like to get that one, but ah, what the heck? We'll get that. I didn't make a house. Should be fine. Only getting two right now on stone. I think that's not too crazy. We'll go more on gold. Rather than being very rigid with where I'm positioning my workers, I'm trying to be clever, which is a big mistake. <laughs> no, I'm trying to not like be too aggressive, I guess, with uh, with where I'm positioning my dudes. So I'm trying to be kind of smart with where I'm positioning things. Um, it can definitely backfire. But I'm trying to play more by feeling. So right now, for example, I definitely have a little bit too much. I'm gonna have these sheep. Um, okay, forestry upgrade is done. We'll get that upgrade as well. Getting all of those. How do I get his sheep, actually? I'm not sure. Okay, we'll try and go around the site. Um, and we'll go for a second TC. Oh, I have a scout right over here. My scout, for some reason, is not taking control of these things. Maybe they have to go idle first, or maybe they are too close to his walls. That's probably why. Uh, let's make a blacksmith. Oh, he's already got a wall on that side, too. He's actually got quite a few units. I do have to be careful I don't get too carried away here with my uh, my production. I might just want to add on... Hmm. I need 400 lumber here. I think I'll add on two archery ranges before going for the second town center. This may be a mistake. But I'm not sure. I think it's okay. Don't think I'm gonna run out of. Okay, we're done making knights, by the way. This is the last knight I'm producing. Five knights, I think, should be okay. I need 400 lumber by the time that my uh, stone is at 300. Okay. Uh, maybe double archery range was a bit much. Because these also actually cost lumber. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I should have got maybe one archery range. Anyway, so I was a, bit, a little bit scared here. My opponent would actually be attacking me. Um. So it's 400 lumber. We'll just attack whatever we can. And I guess I'll make my second TC over here. So we can use it to gather some resources. Just trying to be as annoying as I can be to my opponent. You know, just being a nice guy. Queuing up a couple of upgrades. Armor upgrades seem to be superior, especially against units that attack pretty quick and early. Like, for example, the Longbowman, so should be okay. I really want to get more lumber, though. Let's get another one of these mills right over there. And we'll start making some uh, some bows. Oh, 
So there's not really a whole lot of locations that I can go to here. I guess I'll send my scout around the map to make sure that there's no like units moving out without me knowing it, but... Um, yeah, we'll set up like a bit of a container around his base. Essentially though, as far as I can tell, there's not really gonna be a whole lot of uh, aggression that's possible here. I mean, I could rush up to the third age and get siege weapons out. That would technically work, but I think we'll just try and make a large economy instead. The high ground obviously is quite good as well for my sp or for my uh, my bowmen, so it should be okay. All right, so I'm just keeping control here of like certain areas of the map. Maybe I should get multiple scouts instead or something. I'm not sure. All right, so I've got a lot of gold here. I'll go ahead and get myself a market as well. It's gonna be hotkey zero. Usually don't need it too quick, but we'll get it going here just in case. And once we get enough food going, I can also start transitioning pretty easily here towards uh, the next age. So now I can pump out two workers at once, which is much better. Okay. I think men at arms are probably going to be pretty good against this sort of unit composition. As far as I can tell, I haven't found anything on uh, his side of the map. So he's basically going for the full turtle style, right? Where he's basically just chilling, doing very little. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much they can do when they're turtled up like that, but I guess it's okay. I'll start more food production. I already have 19 on food, but it's okay. Keep making more of these bows. Uh, I could get the siege engineering as well and try to kill him, but like honestly, him shooting over those walls is kind of scary, so I don't really want to make battering rams. Those things are all very powerful. He's gonna have to move out at some point, I think primarily for gold. So he's limited by the amount of gold that's, you know, inside of his base, which is, I think is only 4,000. No, actually, there's more over here. Okay, he's got 12,000 gold. Um, yeah, this might take a while. This is gonna be, a uh, gonna be a bit of a longer game. There's no drop trips in this game, right? There's no way, uh... I could go for a wonder. I could also try and take control of all of the holy sites. So the holy sites are... Wait, there's three of them, right? Where's the third one? Am I blind? There's circles on the map usually. The holy sites might actually be uh, a better idea. I don't know where the, where the holy sites are. Yeah, probably somewhere over here. That would actually be pretty good. So the way that that works is you take control of the holy sites with holy units. And then... Um, you have to... Oh, okay. Here's the third one. You have to basically hold them for um, 10 minutes. So it's actually kind of risky, but... So there's three of them in total. And I need H3 as well be able uh, to be able to go for that. So we're just gathering as much food here as we can. Okay. I'm just taking all the resources on the map. Maybe I should actually be going for the deer over here. Uh, the thing is, he's probably... Like, he's English as well, right? So he'll probably focus primarily... Uh, on farms anyway. English are... They get a little bit of a bonus when they're uh, farming. Okay, so we should go to the next age. He's still at age 2 as well. So it's not like he's rushing up that much either. Let's make... Yeah, let's go for the guild hall. Should have uh, enough on food production for now. So we'll go back to lumber. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna build a couple of barracks. Uh, I didn't mean to like overwrite my existing cavalry, or sorry, my existing uh, archers. So usually, what happens in these games is that by like the third age. Things really start going terrible for me, and already my money is starting to pile up, which is pretty bad. I'm trying to, like, make it so that it's not gonna be an issue this time around. But, uh, no promises. <laughs> I could go into a pretty quick fourth age as well if I have enough food. Not a terrible idea. Did you guys not build those? I don't understand sometimes, like, when I set Q commands, for some reason, oftentimes they don't, like, happen. H4 is very expensive, though, isn't it? Okay. Auto the Che are pretty good. Man at Arms are also pretty good. Um, nice timing. Kappa. Man, this guy is having an absolute blast. I feel like he's kind of angry. I don't know. Maybe he's joking, though. It's kind of hard to say. Sarcasm over, over chat is kind of tricky. Okay. Maybe he's just being polite. Yeah, we both hit it right around the same time. But he was already being a little salty earlier, so I'm not, you know, I'm not 100% sure what to expect. How many workers do I have at this point? 84. I don't really know exactly how many I'm aiming for, but... Uh, let me make... a monastery. I wanna try and bait him out. Cause I've got a feeling, like, whenever I have played against someone that turtles up this hard, usually what they do is they just try and sit there until they're maxed out and stuff. The problem is, though, I've never gone for a, uh, a win You with a, with a monastery before. God, that built really quick, didn't it? So I'm not 100% sure what to expect, but... Uh, let's make... Another couple of barracks. I think that should be good. I'm playing the French without cavalry right now. I don't know if this is a mistake. It might just be. Okay. That's the first one moving out. Second one can also go over there. Okay. I am at 92 workers. Got a lot of drones. Okay. So I've got one... I've got one guy that can go over there. I'll try and take them all at once, okay? I'll try and, like, take control of all of the holy sites all at the same time. I don't have wolves. Nah. It's okay. We don't need wolves. Do I look like a coward who's hiding behind a wall chat? Huh? Oh god, he's moving out. Ah, make a wall! I actually don't know if I get a bonus. Uh, can you go over there, please? Okay, let's try and just spend all of our resources. Okay. 
Got a lot of gold still. Okay, we're capturing one sacred site. Okay, capturing another sacred site. Okay, that one's mine. There we go. We're actually almost maxed out. I think we should try and fight him, to be honest. Because I have so many units. I'm going to try and come in from multiple angles. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hope his spears are derping. Okay. Got a pretty good concave here. I think. I now almost have all holy sites, which means that there's 10 minutes of time that will soon start running. Oh shit. I think I accidentally may have pulled that when I all army hotkeyed. I mean, I never did that! Okay, get him. Push him back up there. Very good. Okay. So this is great. The timer will soon start uh, will soon start running. Uh I could definitely buy some more food over here. So we'll just remax again on a ton of man at arms. Man at arms are really strong, man. All right. So now I gotta defend them. I'm gonna send one archer over here. I'm gonna send one monk over there. I'm sorry, monk, but you're here for scouting now. And we'll set up a big army over here. Yeah, I know one of my monks is dying, but it's irrelevant. He's done his service, Chad. I know, kind of sad. Okay. Um. Can you attack? No, I can't do anything. He's a martyr now. Isn't that the dream of every... Uh... <laughs> Alright, maybe not, maybe not. Okay. Okay, so we're maxed out. I know he doesn't uh, go out on the map. Okay, you can definitely go save him though, if it's possible. I, I mean, I'm not against that idea. Um. So I've already got seven barracks. I'm gonna make some more. I'll make um. Couple of archery thing is over here. I could go into uh, H four if I wanted to and, and go make a wonder, but I've already got the wind condition going. It's eight minutes remaining. I've got a feeling what my opponent is gonna do is just chill. Maybe go for one big push. I mean, I'll start up. I'll start up the. Um... Oh, the red palace would be amazing. Come over here. 
We got to make the red pellets out here. Everyone, build. Oh, he's already coming. Okay, we got to win this. Maybe I should have done this a little bit sooner. Make all the things. Red keep is very powerful. Or the red palace rudder. It acts as a keep. Keeps are pretty good. I probably should have done that actually earlier. Alright, well we're still winning the fight over here it seems. Though I do have to be careful about Manganels. Uh, okay. Very good. I still have to hold for seven minutes. Uh, can I get these upgrades? Oh, I need more gold. Really? I'm out of gold? I didn't think I was going to be out of gold here. All right, we'll just max out again. These upgrades would be very nice to have, but I'm going to try and break through this. He's building an archery range outside right now. New subscriber detected. Oh god. A counterweight trebuchet. Five minutes remaining, man. These are the longest five minutes of my life. I can make cannoneers? That seems good. Can you guys please make some gold, please? That would be nice. Okay. I can definitely go sell a little bit of this as well. Okay, we'll try and get some more upgrades in a little bit. Okay, I'm back enough. This age is currently under attack, which might not be ideal. Uh, can you guys maybe repair it? The trebuchet is pretty strong. I want to try and get, yes, elite men at arms. Let's get more. Okay. All we need to do is hold on for another five minutes. We should be okay. Maybe I went a little bit too YOLO though. Uh, actually, if I could... I need 700 gold for that. Man, gold is actually kind of hard to come by at this point. Um, I'm getting a lot more gold income at this point, but... Okay, let's get... Which one is it? That one. Elite archers. Oh, that costs lumber. It costs lumber to repair. That's why things are not going so smooth. Four minutes remaining on the sacred site win. I would target the trebuchet, but it's kind of dangerous. All I need to do is just buy time. Once I buy enough time, I win the game. I maybe overextend a little though. And I definitely should have had more gold production as well, but uh... Alright. Looks like we're out healing a lot of this. We're actually attacking his keep right now too. Which is keeping him back. <laughs> Sorry. We'll get these upgrades as well in the blacksmith. Sorry, sorry. That was, that was kind of cringe. Okay, we're back up to full health. I'm killing his keep with my keep. 
Not what I expected, but hey. Three minutes until a sacred victory. I've never had a sacred victory before. If I was him, I'd try to sneak out units. Loco, keep it up. Thank you, guys. Well memed. Okay. I'm not dumb. Okay, he's starting to make a desperation attack. He does have a ton of units. But I have quite a few more on my own. And these are now elite men at arms. AKA, they don't mess around. Two minutes until a sacred victory. Gotta continue repairing over there. You stay away! Concave pretty good, man. I've played enough ZVZ to know how concaves work. Concave is still, after all these years, my favorite geometrical shape. <laughs> I never knew I had a favorite geometrical shape until I started playing Zerk for the Zerk. Alright, we destroyed his army. Our keep is still, uh... Not doing so well. But it's only one minute remaining. What about hexagons? Hexagons are pretty good too, actually. Yeah, hexagons are the best of guns. Proven by nature many times. Circles are also actually kind of OP. Like, when you think about it, a concave is just the worst version of a circle. Oh, he's gonna make another desperation. I'm maxed out. I've got full upgrades though, so I think I should be pretty good. I have a lot of units still in the back. Actually, a lot of his units out here are workers. Okay, go. Ah, yeah, these units are a little slow. I was thinking maybe he was gonna try and be strategic and send units in from the other side. But 10 seconds remaining on my holy victory, baby! How's my keep? Keeping alive, huh? All we really need. Hey, there it is. That felt actually really good. Whew. So, a couple of things that I definitely could have been uh, better at in this particular game. I think my early game was pretty good. When I got to the second age, things got a little bit more sloppy, but that's just kind of the nature of things. Because you start controlling so many more things. Third age was better than where I'm normally at as far as like my resource income and distribution goes. But it wasn't as clean as I would like it to be. And then when I got to the fourth age, which I think this was the second ever multiplayer game ever where I got to the fourth age. Um, I completely forgot that I needed a million gold and I had none of it. That's not ideal. Now... The structure I use to go to the third age is called the guild hall. And basically, if I understand correctly, the way that the structure works is like you pick a passive resource. So food, gold, stone, whatever, right? You pick one of those resources and then it passively gets those resources, assuming you go to actually click on the structure and claim them. The longer you don't claim, the more resources it's got. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. The issue is that I never clicked on the guild hall. And I never claimed any of it. This is the first time I've won a game using those holy sites, right? Now, I'm not entirely sure how my opponent could have prevented this from happening. I think if he just gets one unit in the circle, it already delays. I don't think it has to be a holy unit. I think it only has to be a holy unit in order for it to... Like, be recaptured. But I think he can, like... Pause my win. Uh, just by, like... 
standing in the circle. I'm pretty sure. So, maybe maybe going for a win with sacred sites is actually... Yeah, any unit can stop it. Okay, so any unit can make it neutral, but I guess a, a holy unit of his could, like, capture it of his own. Anyways, so what I'm getting at is maybe going for the sacred size as a win fix or a win condition is is not that smart, because honestly that seemed a little bit risky, but it worked out. I mean, I guess it was also winning just by killing his army, right? Um. So there's relics out on the map. I don't know how relics work. I've never done any relics before. So there's, for example, a relic. So a religious unit can pick up this relic and place it in a religious building to generate gold. So all I needed to do was just send this monk after capturing this to the relic. And then this would be brought back to the monastery and I get a passive gold income. Is that how it works? Yeah, that would have helped with my gold uh, situation, with my gold problems. So those are the, the phallus-shaped objects on the minimap, huh? I've wondered about those. <laughs> I've seen them and I was like, I don't know what that is. And then I moved on. I was like, is that gold? Nope, it's not gold. Oh, I definitely could have easily collected all of those. And then I would have been able to get all of my H4 upgrades right away. I'm pretty sure. It's 100 gold each a minute? Wow, there's like five out on the map. One, two, three. No, there's four. No, five. Wow. 500 gold a minute? Okay, that's an extremely strong move against someone who's turtling. I actually really like the multiple win conditions they've made for this game, though. Initially, I was like, mm, I don't know if it's possible. Or if it's that great, or if it's that fun. But there's a lot of people that play exactly like this guy, who just kind of just sit there and do nothing. Um, yeah. It's forcing players out into the map. Like, the way to do it in StarCraft is that you run out of minerals, right? So you run out of resources at home, and then you kind of have to venture out into the map. And I guess it's sort of similar in this game, but they've taken a different approach, and I kind of like it. I mean, it makes it a little bit more complex as a viewer, I suppose, but it's not its not really rocket science. So anyways, when I had the holy sites taken, I should have definitely gone and just shift-clicked the relics, and then it probably would have been even better. New subscriber detected. Thank you very much, Pilgrim, for the six months. Um, anything else that I should have changed here or that I should have improved on? I think, I think just getting the fourth H upgrades is an absolute game changer, right? I mean, other than like the obvious things like macro, like right now I don't have, dude, I am struggling with food at this point in the game. I was like, I'm pretty sure I, I know what I'm doing here reasonably well. Why do I not have food? Um, where is my... There's the School of Covery. Where's my guild hall? It's currently got 1,020 food ready to be collected. So all I had to do was just like click this button and then I would get 1,000 food. That would have been nice. That, that, yeah, that would have been quite helpful. I could max out quite a bit sooner. I should just make a hotkey for this. I should just have a hotkey for the market for the guild hall and all of those kinds of things. But I also definitely could have done, I don't really know exactly how much it costs to build a keep. I think it's 600 stone. I think it's 600 stone to make a keep. Uh, Where is the keep? Oh, it's 800 stone, okay. What I definitely could have done is put two villages right here on stone production. And then I could probably by the time that it's gotten to this point, I could have put like one keep over here one keep over here, and I'm not really too concerned about this one, because it's kind of far in the back. I could have afforded two keeps and just planted those outside of the, the sacred sites. I think that would have been quite a bit stronger. I mean, I built my H4 structure out on the map. It didn't seem to do that much. I could have also put one of those at the sacred sites, actually. I was trying to go for some sort of contain, but... I could have used a market as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always feel bad using the market. Like, in my mind, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe this is just the noob in me talking, right? But in my mind, my resource distribution with workers should be so good that I never have to use the market. 
In my mind, the market feels like a proper gold league move at best. <laughs> Maybe that's just me being stupid. <laughs> Loco, if you don't use the market, the opponent gets good prices? What? Wait, 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 wait. What did you just say? If you sell or buy, the prices of the market change? The market prices are the same for both players? The prices start good and get worse as the game goes on? Oh, snap! Oh, I did not realize that. So it's actually... Okay, that's actually pretty clever. Because my gut feeling is like, ah, market, that's for noobs. But it's definitely a good idea then to spend it, even if it's just to like... Is that is that correct? Is this for real? So I know the market also has access to traders. So it's got a trader. I've also never used that before. So traders generate gold when assigned to trade with a trade post or another player's market. Okay, that's not very helpful in 1v1, but I can go to a trade post. So I guess the way this works is I send it to the neutral market in the middle of the map and i just like make a bunch of these traders and they just go back and forth back and forth back and forth that would have also given me a ton of gold then right the trader makes repeated trips between its home market and the trade target you can assign a new home market if you wish to the longer their route is loco the more gold you get okay right so maybe I don't necessarily need both traders as well as relics, but I should have had one of the two. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm learning here is that turtling in Age of Empires seems like a terrible idea. Did this monk, by the way, ever survive? I could have saved him pretty easily, but I... I... Oh, yeah, he survived. He made it. That's good. Okay, so definitely a lot of uh, a lot of room for improvement here. There's a lot of things I could have done I uh, could have done better. So at this point, by the way, I am basically maxed out. He's also maxed out. Okay, so despite the fact that he's been turtling super hard on the bases that he's got or the resources that he's got, he still managed to max out. All right, but I did get the concave advantage right here, the positional one. I actually think I overextended with this fight. Like, I wanted to try and kill all of his siege weapons, and I thought that would be smart. Uh, that would be smart, but... Yeah. Huh, anyways, fun game. Yeah, maybe I should have added on some of my own siege weapons. Maybe I should have made some, uh, mangonels. The mangonels would be amazing against these clumped up, uh, longbowmen. I mean, you can set them into a formation that's a lot more staggered, a lot more moved. You know, <clears throat> like with more spaces in between. But obviously when he's like fighting in a choke like this. And he's forced to go down one path. And I can come in from every angle. Um, yeah. So despite the fact that I won this game. And I feel pretty good about myself. I was feeling pretty smug. There's so much room for improvement still. Nice. Nice. 